of the Lord when, when the whole world is afraid, when the whole world is confused, when the whole world is uh, in fear. As a Christian, we have nothing to fear. Amen. As a Christian, we have nothing to lose. Amen. The Bible says, as Paul said in the word of God, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Amen. While the whole world is afraid and confused and anger, angry and bitter, we as Christians should begin to prepare ourselves to go where we are supposed to be. This is not our home. We are just strangers in this world. Jesus. And so I believe that the Lord is going to come soon. I don't know when soon and how soon. But Jesus said, I'm going to come soon. Amen. And if Jesus said, I'm going to come soon, then you and I should prepare ourselves as if the Lord is going to come tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Or if you want to say, tonight. Amen? Amen. And so before the Lord comes, as a Christian or as the bride of Christ, what we need to do? What do you do when you are about to, if you are supposed to go for a, a special party, what do you do? You get ready, right? Yes. We prepare ourselves. We make ourselves ready. The Bible many a times tells the God's children, consider your ways and prepare to meet thy God. And so we need to consider ourselves now and we need to prepare ourselves to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who's going to come to meet and who's going to come to take us home to be where he is. Amen. So today I want to help each one of us to prepare ourselves before we go home. So how to prepare for our rapture? How to prepare for our rapture? I will not be asking you to turn pages to many passages, but we will turn to just one chapter and from there we will look into maybe about seven to eight Verses in that chapter. So if you're with me, turn your Bible to the book of Ephesians, chapter number 4. Book of Ephesians, chapter number 4. In the book of Ephesians, chapter number 4, you and I will be looking from, the, from verse number 23 to verse number 30 today. Thank you for joining with us, even online. And thank you for those who are all present here to hear the word of God this morning. Amen. 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 I want to read from verse number 23 through 30. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 23 to 30. The Bible says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that he put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor working with his hands. The thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication Proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Amen. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let 
us call the Lord in prayer and ask God's blessing over this message. Heavenly Father, we thank you for thy holy word. We believe thy word is holy, inspired, pure, perfect, without any errors in this Bible that we hold and believe. And today, O oh God, teach us. Help us to understand thy word. And O oh Lord, we pray that we may prepare ourselves as we do not know when you are coming, but you have informed us already that we need to prepare and that we need to be ready for you, O oh Lord, are coming soon. So help us today as we hear these words. Speak to our hearts and increase our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 How to prepare for our rapture? How to prepare for our rapture. rapture? Now we all understand the word rapture is not found in the Bible. But we all understand the word, the doctrine, the principle, the application of this rapture is found all over the Bible. Amen. The Bible talks about being caught up. The Bible talks about being translated. The Bible speaks about falling away. The Bible speaks about that a mystery and changing of ourselves within a twinkling of an eye. Amen? Amen. The Bible talks about the trump of God when it will be blown. We talk, the Bible talks about the voice that will be heard that will say, come up, hither. Yes. Yes. And we believe that's what the Bible teaches. And if you don't believe that God is going to come, the Lord is going to come and take his bride, his church home to heaven, then you cannot call yourself as a Bible-believing Christian, but a, uh, you can call yourself a man with a cracked out mind with a dope full of eyes. Because the Bible teaches that Christians will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Yes. That is biblical teaching. Amen? Amen. So if the Lord is going to come, then you and I need to prepare ourselves yes. uh, to, to meet our Lord in the air. Amen. I don't want to go up there dirty. I don't want to go up there with my sin. I want to go up there with myself, my heart and mind and my soul and my spirit being prepared for my bride. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, if you and I want to be prepared for the rapture, first thing, we need to renew our mind. Yes, yes. My dear friend, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked, the Bible says. But thank God, when the Lord saved you and me, He regenerated. Amen. He made us clean and pure and holy. Amen. Now, he tells, God tells us that we need to prepare ourselves. The Bible says, keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Yes. But our heart and our mind ought to be prepared first. If we are going to prepare to go to heaven, first our mind needs to be prepared. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. These days, uh, in our family, we talk a lot about rapture. We are, even in our prayer, we talk about rapture. Even in our Bible study in my home every night, we talk about rapture. During our prayer time as a family, we talk about rapture. And when you talk about all these things, when you talk about the biblical things, we talk about purifying ourselves. When we talk about getting ready for the Lord, when your mind is filled with biblical truth, what happens? You begin to look forward to such a day that is going to come. Amen. Amen. When we are being preparing ourselves, this morning Stephen woke up. Last night he was praying for rapture. He woke up this morning saying, Daddy, I saw a dream. And I'm like, what was the dream? He said, I saw the dream. Jesus came and took grandma to heaven and, and he took all of us to heaven. He said, I saw the dream that we are all raptured to heaven. My dear friend, when our heart and mind is filled with the truth, all that you will think is the truth. Amen? Amen. When your heart and mind is filled with the rapture, all that you are going to think and dream is the rapture. Amen. You see, if our heart is filled with sin, we will be thinking about sin. If our heart and mind is filled with wickedness, that is what we will be thinking about. But when our heart and mind is filled with God's word, we will be thinking about God's word. Amen. When we Amen. think about rapture, we dream about rapture. Yes. And so it was a beautiful thing this morning when Stephen woke up and told us his dream. It was encouraging. And I think that this is what God wants us to do is 
prepare ourselves because it's coming soon. Yes. And so how we need to prepare? We need to prepare our mind. We need to start thinking more about heaven. We need to stop worrying and we need to stop getting afraid and be fearful and start getting excited for our redemption draw at nine. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Lord is going to come, so we need to get excited. We are not supposed to be afraid of what is happening in the world, but we need to start preparing ourselves because we are going out of this world. So we need to renew our mind. You know what book of Romans chapter 12 says? Transforming our mind. Amen. Be Amen. not conformed to this world, but be it transformed with the, by the renewing of our mind. Amen? Amen. Our life, we need to live a transformed life. When the world is afraid, we will still be courageous. When the world is worried, we will be worshipping. When the world is angry, we will be excited. When the world has no answer, we have all the answer in the word of God. Amen. And so we are going to get excited and we are going to renew our mind. But what does renew our mind mean? We are not going to think like the world is thinking. We are going to think like how the Bible tells us to think. We are going to renew our mind. We are not going to fall for the ways of the Antichrist. We are looking and keeping our eyes towards Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So renew your mind. How do we renew our mind? By asking God for forgiveness. Oh God, forgive us and purify our hearts. Confessing our sins. When we confess, the Bible says, He is just and faithful to forgive us from all our sins and unrighteousness. Amen. And so we renew our mind by confessing our sin. Amen. Secondly, we renew our mind by praying to God. What prayer does? Prayer builds our relationship when we communicate with Jesus Christ. That's right. My dear friend, when we talk to Jesus, our mind will be purified. Third, we need to be, renew our mind by washing our mind. How, does our, how can we wash our mind? The Bible says the word of God is the water which cleanses us. Amen. We are washed by the water which is the word of God. Amen. Amen. So you and I should renew our mind by the word of God. So how do we do that? By reading it. By hearing it and meditating the word of God. And that is how we renew our mind. When our mind is renewed, we can live a pure life. Amen. 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 Pure life. We don't have to think like the world is thinking. We don't have to act like the world is acting. We don't have to even act like the worldly Christians. Sadly, we need to use this word today in this day and age as worldly Christian. Because many Christians live like the world. My dear friend, as the children of God, we are not called to live as the world lives, but we need to live as the Word says. Amen. Secondly, we prepare ourselves for the rapture by putting on the new man. By putting on the new, new man. man. Look at verse number 24, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. And that he put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. What is the new man? The new man is the quality of God in us. The new man is the righteousness of Christ imputed upon us. When Christ saved us, he gave us a new spirit. Amen. A renewed spirit. A quickened spirit. And so, my dear friend, there is always a war between the old man and the new man. The old man is still there. But only if you feed him, he'll become fat. Right. But if you starve the old man, he will die his own death. Amen. But the new man, that is the new life that we have, the life of Christ that we have, we need to feed and put on. Yes. We need to put on, dress up every day. Every day when we get up, we need to get up and dress up with the new man. Mm -hmm. Every day we need to get up and say, Lord, I want to live a life that pleases you. I want to glorify you. Amen. Today, I don't want to live like the world. I want to live according to the word. Amen. And I need to put on the new man. Yes. Putting on the new man is living a life according to the word and not the world. Amen. 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 So putting on godly characters, godly characters, the life of Christ. What is Christian life? Christian life is an outliving of in-living Christ. Christ lives in me and I need to manifest that life of Christ which is within me 
should be manifested outside. Amen. With my words, with my action, with my talk, with my prayer life, with my pure, pure life, a renewed mind, a renewed heart. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thirdly, I need to prepare myself for the rapture by putting away lying. You know, one of the sin that Christians can easily sin is by telling lies. Lies. And these lies even today comes from big mouths. And that's why today we are having division among the Christians. Because one preacher will get up and he'll tell by all the lies as much as possible just to get the people excited. Mm. And today that's happening. That's what is happening among all the... Uh, and that, uh, uh, that's what is happening among so many people. Lie about God, lie about manifestation, lie about miracles, lie. And that is the sign of the Antichrist, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Yes. But it's hard work to tell a lie because if you lie, you need to remember what did you tell two days back. So you don't, you know, you don't clash with your talk. But if you speak the truth, you don't have to lie. Amen? Amen. You know what God is saying? Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. Who is your neighbor? Anyone who is next to you. Amen. Amen. Anyone who is next to you is your neighbor. Amen. Your wife is your neighbor. Your children is your neighbor. Your husband is your neighbor. Your, 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 your schoolmate is your neighbor. The, the people that you go to school is your neighbor. Your, your neighbors are your neighbors. Everybody. And the Bible says, speak truth. Putting away lying. Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one of another. Amen? Amen. And this is especially speaking about speaking the truth, especially, specifically to the believers. We are not supposed to lie to them. Yes. You know, yesterday I was uh, going, I, I went for an exercise, and on the road I saw a beautiful feather. It was extremely beautiful, white color, looked so beautiful, fallen on a leaf that was green. What feather was that? It was the feather of a beautiful bird. But sadly today, there are groups of people who take that feather and say, this is a feather that fell from heaven. It belongs to angels. <laughs> That's a lie. Yes. And God says, you know what? Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of another. Amen. 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 Verse number 26, how should I prepare myself for the rapture? The Bible says, be angry and sin not. The Bible, does the Bible say don't be angry? The Bible says be angry. Amen. But when you're angry, sin not. Yes. Amen. 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 It's good to be angry. If, you're not, if you don't get angry, there's something wrong with you. Even God gets angry. Yes. Holy anger. Now when you, when you get angry, you don't go and chop off someone's head or give bad words, or curse somebody, the Bible says, be angry, but sin not. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. wrath. Which means confess yourself. If you have done something, confess. Don't go to sleep with sin, the burden of sin upon you. What if you live in sin and go to sleep and you die without your sin being confessed? That's a very dangerous thoughts to think about, right? Yes. yes. And that's why before you go to bed, always ask God to forgive your sins. Confess your sins. Yes. Be angry, but sin not. Sin not. Verse number 27 says, Give neither place to the devil. My dear friend, if you're going to prepare for a rapture, we need to prepare in such a way that we don't give any place for the devil to come. Yes. In our mind, in our heart, in our church, in our family, in our talk, in our action, the devil should stay far away from us. Amen. Yes. Why does the Bible say, uh, neither give place to the devil? Because for, it is possible for Christians to give place to the devil. Yes. You know what the Bible says in Acts chapter 5, Ananias and Sapphira allowed the devil to control their mind yes. by telling lies. By their stinginess. Yes, dear friend, it is possible for Christians to give place to the devil in their heart and mind and their soul. But you and I as Christian, as God tells us to prepare ourselves, to consider our ways, God says, go give neither place to the devil. 
we need to fill our mind so much with Christ. You know, this one, um, Charles Spurgeon, a great preacher, he said, you should be filled with the, with the love of Christ so much that even if the mosquito comes and bites you, it should go singing, what can wash away my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Your blood should be so much filled with the blood of Jesus that even the mosquito should be singing, what can wash away my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's stain. Amen. 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 We need to be filled with so much of Christ that there should be no place for the devil. Amen. We need to prepare ourselves. It's high time. Don't wait. Uh, my dear friend, we do not know. We are not sure. It may be in, uh, three days from now or three years from now or 30 years from now. But we need to live as if the rapture is going to happen three hours from now. Amen. 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 And so we need to prepare. Yes. Give neither place for the devil, dear friend. Give no place to the devil. Amen. Verse number 28, the Bible says, Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hand, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. You know what the word of God says? Don't steal. Don't steal your time. You know how much we are wasting our time? These are the times. I do not know how many Christians are living. Most of the Christians may be sitting in front of the TV watching news. What's happening? How many people are dying? How many cases are coming of coronavirus? What Trump is saying? What Bill Gates is saying? What Modi is saying? What Amit Shah is saying? What, uh, what this fellow is saying? And what is going on? And, and most of the Christians may be filling their mind with the television news. And, we are, and by doing that, we are stealing the time that God has given us, wasting our time. As Christians, we need to be fellowshipping. As Christians, we need to be preparing our mind with God's word. As Christians, this is the right time. Uh, we need to ask a question. Before the lockdown and after the lockdown and during the lockdown, are we drawn more closer to Christ or far away from Christ? Are we praying more now than before or now we have become more lazy because everything is locked down? You know what God says? He says, I gave you this lockdown time so that you don't go out in the world to sin, but stay in and purify yourself. Amen. Amen. Lockdown is a time for the Christians to prepare for the rapture. Yes. Yes. Because out into the world there is a lot of temptations. Yes. And God says, before I come, I want you to be prepared. Amen. 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 That's a good thinking, isn't it? Yes. That's yes, right. a good thinking. Yes. Preparing ourselves. Mm. God is trying to protect us. So instead of complaining and murmuring, let's prepare ourselves. Yes. yes. Because out there, there is a lot of temptation. Out there, there is a lot of sin. Out there, there is Satan waiting to devour you. Mm. And God says, you know, I gave you this time to prepare. So you can confess your sin, get right, purify your heart and mind, and, and be ready and just live for the Amen. 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 So don't steal, my dear friend. And when God blesses you, use that for charity. Amen. To provide for others' need. You know why God makes some people rich? So they can provide their riches to others and supply. Amen. Amen. That's right. God doesn't make us rich so we can put it on our lust. But He makes us rich that we may be generous in giving. Yes. 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 That is the purpose. Amen. Verse number 29, the Bible says, How, we, how we should we prepare for the rapture? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Gossiping. Through this we are grieving the Holy Spirit. Lying. Fooling around. And the Bible says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to use of edifying. Amen. 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 Encouraging one another. Building up one another. Even warning one another. You know, warning others to do the right thing is edifying. That's right. Yes. Yes. But encouraging others to live in sin is dangerous. Yes. Mm. So let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Amen. 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 So let's guard our mouth, dear friend, our tongue. Why? If we purify our heart and mind, purity will come from our mouth. Mm. Why? 
corrupt communication comes from our mouth because heart is corrupted. Yes. Yes. Mind is corrupted. But when the mind is renewed, the words will be renewed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Finally, I want to tell you in verse number 30, grieve not the Holy Spirit. You know, on the day of rapture, the Holy Spirit should not be grieved or the Holy Spirit should not be even grieved now. I tell you, on the day of rapture, the Lord will also be grieved because of so many Christians who have taken their sin to heaven. Of course, we cannot go with our sin, but God will be grieved that we did not take time to confess our sins and get right with God before we went home. Mm. So you know what the Bible says? Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of Amen. The Bible says you are sealed. Amen. Your salvation is sure. Amen. That you are not going to go to hell if you have received Jesus Christ. Amen. But that is not a opportunity for you and for me. That's not a license for you and for me to live in sin and live an unconfessed life. Yes, that's right. God says if you live in sin and live an unconfessed life, you are grieving the Holy Spirit. Yes. God says I've give, I'm giving you every day that you will confess your sins and get right with God. Amen. Dress up, get up, get going for the Lord, encourage one another as much as possible, live for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Once again, I will repeat, renew your mind. Put on the new man. Put away lying. Give no place for sin. Give no place for the devil. Do not steal, but be charitable. Mm. Avoid corrupt communication. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. But Amen. make the Holy Spirit happy. Yes. Amen. Every day. Amen. 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 You know, we just taught our little boy Ezra that song, if you're happy and you know, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, say hooray. And it makes him happy. This is not the song only for the children. This is also for a song, a song for Christian. If you're happy and you know, Make the Holy Spirit happy also. Amen. The Holy Spirit should be happy by your life. Yes. When my children are talking about Jesus all the time, when my children are happy, it makes me happy. Yes. How much more the Holy Spirit will be happy when we make Him happy. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves for the rapture. Yes. My dear friend, when you look around and see all this thing, we need to understand it's time to look up, lift up our eyes, lift up our head, for our redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May God add many more blessings. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your uh, strength. Use it for the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that day is not very far when we will hear the sound. Come up. Hither. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray, O Lord, this time that you will fill our heart and our mind with your truth. Re help us to renew our mind, O oh God. Help us not to lie, not to steal, neither give place to the devil, and help us, O oh God, not to grieve the Holy Spirit, but help us to confess our sin. Help us to fill our heart and mind with your word. Cleanse our mind with your holy word. Help us to pray. Help us to prepare ourselves for thy coming, O oh God. Help us to make you happy every moment of our life. Bless your children today. Put an edge of protection around them. O oh Lord, that no virus, no germ, no sickness will come against your children, O oh God. We pray, but your children will be strong and healthy, both spiritually and physically. Yes. We give you all the glory and honor. We give the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And all God's people say, Amen. 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 Let's all stand.